Hi there. Welcome to my practice questions on being able to write large numbers in words and figures. I've got two parts to this. First part is where we're writing uh, the, the answer in figures here. And the second part, we need to write this into words. What I'd like you to do now is to pause the video, have a go at these six questions here, and then when you're happy with your answers, restart the video and go through the model answers with me. So pause the video now and have a go at questions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Hi, welcome back. Let's now go through these six questions together. So first one's here. I'm going to start off with writing these in figures. So we've got 3,202. Well, if you're not sure how to do this, it's a good idea just to write your headings here for our columns of place value. Units, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Then we can clearly see we've got 3,000, so we could write that underneath there. Two hundreds. There are no tens, but there are two units. So our answer, 3,202. You can put a comma to separate the thousands and the hundreds as well. Um, second one, 12,300. Again, if we write units, tens, hundreds, thousands, we're going to need another column here for tens of thousands. So this time we've got 12,000. Well, 12 consists of a uh, 10 and two units. So there's our 12,000. We've got 300. But no tens, no units. So our answer, 12,300. You can put the comma to separate the thousands and the hundreds. The last one here, question 3, 2,300,005. Well, this time we need units, we need tens, we need hundreds, we then need thousands, we then need tens of thousands, we then need hundreds of thousands, and then we come to millions. Good idea to remember is that a million will have six zeros after it, so there'll be seven digits in the answer in total. So here we've got 2 million, we've got 300,000, we've got no hundreds, no tens, but we have got a 5. And separating this up, we have the comma next to the 2 to separate the millions and the hundreds of thousands. We'll then have a comma next to the thousands to separate thousands from the hundreds. 2 million. 300,005. Okay, writing this the other way around, this time we'd write our units on the top, our uh, column headings on the top of here. So units, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Now we can see that we've got 2,400, uh, 110, and two units. So we write down our answer. 2,000, 400, and 12. Next one here, <clears throat> separating this up again, we've got units, we've got tens, we've got hundreds, We've got thousands, we've now got tens of thousands, and then we've got hundreds of thousands at the end there. So here, we've got 800,000, but it's 814,000. So we write our answer as 800, and we've got 14,800, and 14,000. But we've got 100, 814,000, and then 100 and 21. 
all in words there. Okay, the last one here. Now I'm not going to write the units on the top here. Again, we can count the digits. There's six of them. So we know we've got four million. So this one, we start off and we write our four million. So we've got four million. Then we've got 320,000. So we write our 300 and 20,000 300 there and 20,000 and then finally we've got no hundreds no tens but we've got the two units so it's 4 million 320,000 and 2 as a final answer there.